In this video, we are going to study linear regression, analysis of variance, or ANOVA table in Python using SpiderID. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into SpiderID. So the first step within the video is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, we're going to comment this as step one, which is packages. And for this, we're going to import statsmodels.apism. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading and analysis of variance or a NOVA table. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.apism. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for multiple linear regression calculation. To run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we can either click Run Selection or press F9 on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object, which is equal to, and we'll be using SM feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore our dataset, and we open parentheses. And the following parameters, which are data name equals to, and within quotations, house prices, comma, and we continue the following row, package equals to, and within quotations, AER, comma, cash equals to true. So what this is doing is it's downloading house prices object from our package AER, and with cash equals to true means that once it downloads the data, it saves it locally, so it don't, we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code. Notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object. Therefore, we're going to create a new object named house prices with only the data. Therefore, equals to house prices underscore object, and we get its dot data attribute. To run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we're going to press F9 on the keyboard directly. And if we click on the variable explorer tab within Spider, we see the two objects house prices object with data and documentation, and house prices with only the data. So if we double click up any of the cells of the one with the data, we can see right here the data, and specifically for this video, we're going to focus on the following columns. Price, lot size, and bedrooms. The reason for this is that we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is a dependent or explained variable, which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. To read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print and from house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc attribute two underscores again. So we press F9 on the keyboard directly as it is a single code line. We select any part of it and we go ahead and visualize the documentation right here. So if we scroll up. we see house prices are documentation within the console. So now we can continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object name MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, and it is equal to, we'll be using SMF feature from statsmodels.ols, which stands for ordinary least scores function, and within it, the following parameters. Formula equals to, and within quotations, because this is a string, we have price as a dependent or explained variable, and this special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, comma, and we're going to continue the following row. We have data equals to the house prices object we created above, and we fit this regression, open and close parentheses. And we want to print the summary results of this regression, and we do so with the following code line, which is print, and from the MLR, object we get its dot summary method open and close parentheses so to run these code lines we go ahead select them and we press f9 on the key directly and we'll see how the mlr object is created within the variable explorer and also the corresponding printing of the summary results so specifically if we scroll up we see the results of the ols or ordinary least squares regression results here we can see the F statistic printed below and the associated p-value of this F statistic 
These are part of the analysis of variance or a nova table. This F test is a joint null hypothesis that independent variables coefficients are equal to zero. And below we can see all the results from this regression, which are the corresponding coefficients with the intercept, lot size, and bedrooms independent or explanatory variables. So now we're going to continue with step number four, which is analysis of variance. And for this first, we need to fit a new regression, which we're going to name LR1, because we're going to fit a linear regression, which only has a constant or intercept. Therefore, it is equal to SMF feature from statsmodels.ols or in a least course function and within the following parameters. Formula equals to and within quotations, because it's a string, we have price as a dependent or explained variable, special character means being explained by, in this case, only one because as mentioned previously it only has a constant or intercept and the constant or intercept is a column of ones comma data equals to the house prices object we created above and we fit this regression open and close parenthesis and with this we can perform the printing of the analysis of variance or ANOVA table for this we're going to create an object named ANOVA equals to and we'll be using SM feature from stats models dot stats dot ANOVA underscore LM and we open parenthesis and the following parameters. First, we have the model LR1, the one that only includes the constant or intercept. Then we have MLR, the multiple linear regression that includes constant or intercept and lot size and bedrooms independent on explanatory variables. Test equals to and it's going to perform an f test comma typ equals to one so this is the type of a nova test notice that the parameters included within this a nova lm corresponding models the test f type equals to one were only included as educational examples which can be modified according to your needs and with this, we're going to print the results, and we do so at the following row with the print and print code line and within it a Nova object. So to run this code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we press F9 on the keyboard. And as we'll see, this creates the LR1 object within the variable explorer, and it printed the results of this a Nova or analysis of variance table. And we see the following. First, we have total degrees of freedom. Below, we have the residual degrees of freedom. Then we have the total sum of squares. Below, we have the residual sum of squares. Then we have here, below, the regression degrees of freedom. Then we have the regression sum of squares, the F statistic, and then the F statistic p-value. These are the same, which were printed with the summary results of MLR object. This is the F test p-value with the joint null hypothesis that lot size and bedrooms coefficients are equal to zero. If rejected, adding lot size and or bedrooms improve linear regression model. If not rejected, adding lot size and or bedrooms did not improve linear regression model. Okay, so with this we finish with the code file so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.